Hello, welcome back to the Farrington channel. In today's video, it's just going to be a compilation of the last four videos that I've released on the channel. Enjoy. Hi there guys, welcome back to another passive income video. In today's video, I'll be going through eight new passive income streams. You can start right now just by installing and selling your spare bandwidth data. And depending on your location and country and the current demand for your data, depends on how much you get paid each month. So to jump right in with the first passive income stream uh, that you can do by selling your bandwidth data is peer to profit. And this would be one of the most profitable ones that you can use. Uh, I'll show you the price data for how much your rates would go for. So this is the price for business. Uh, that would be if you use a cellular mobile, such as like an Android phone, hosting, and residential, such as home, you know, data. And this is the exact amount that you'd also receive if you build yourself a network of referrals, and that would always be recommended when you do sell, you know, your bandwidth. Moving on to the second passive income stream, this would be Honey Game, and this is the exact same concept. So it would be a simple software that you download on your phone, or it would be something that you would download onto your computer and you would leave this running passively. I would recommend to sign up to the jump task to receive yourself the 10% extra bonus. But when you do uh, sign up through the referral link, you will receive uh, 5,000 of these coins, which does refer to $5. Now, myself personally, I do use the jump task version and I do take out regular payments uh, via their crypto earnings from there. And do have some actual other earning streams of sources of income there, but they aren't as passive as you know what we're talking about here with bandwidth sharing, but they do have offers and games and things like that that you can earn passively through uh, Honey Gain if you do have some spare time. And as you can see, these are my earnings over the past week. I haven't had them on uh, as much as I could have done. Um, so. I do believe that the earnings have been pretty good, and that's you know been roughly around about the 40 that I've earned from this so far. And that's not too bad in considering uh, it's just something that I've just left on the bottom of my dashboard, and it's something passively. To install Honey Gain, all you need to do is simply go to the top of the page, press on the download app option, and find the platform that you'll be using. So if it's iOS for your mobile, Mac OS for Android or Windows, click the option and then it will start the download thing for you. And all you need to do is follow the in installation on that. Now, the third passive income stream uh, on today's list is IP Royal Pawns. Now, IP Royal Pawns is the exact same uh, concept, so all you need to do is just connect as many de uh, devices uh, as you can do. Uh, the more IP addresses and different IP addresses, the more that you would earn, and the longer that you would have your devices kept up for in all of these uh, passive income streams, uh, the better. So, as I mentioned before, you got to make sure that you do install these on the correct devices, and make sure that you log in with your usernames just to make sure that you are collecting your payments you know, from your incomes and they're not just apps that are sitting down at the bottom. Of Next one on the list is PacketStream. And PacketStream is a very good uh, site for this. Very, very simple to use, uh, depending on whether there is a massive demand, depends on how much uh, you are gonna get paid for. As you can see, uh, there was a day where I had uh, at one point, you know, one eight gigabytes get sold, uh, bandwidth you know, through. So each day is dependent and dependent on where you are and which country you're in also does depend on you know, how much data you're going to get used. And if you do have uh, Androids and things like that, that can make it a little bit easier for you uh, to earn some more passive income on this as well. Um, so this is just another simple one that you have installed at the bottom. Uh, nothing too much to say to you guys, just make sure you do install this one uh, via the downloads. Uh, from the looks of it, this one is purely only for um, Windows. Uh, and there is actually links there for uh, Linux, Docker, and for Mac OS as well there. So those are the platforms that you can use this on. Get those installed, just make sure if you, you know, to refer to your friends so you can actually earn some, you know, hire a bit of a, you know, income on that one. And then moving straight on uh, to Trap Monetizer. So this one uh, isn't a high paying one, but it is something that does work, and it is there. 
and it is a trusted site. So these are the actual platforms that you can download this on. So you can download this on either Windows, Android, Docker. Uh, it's coming soon to the iOS. What you need to do is make sure when you download your software is just make sure that you copy your own uh, application token there and make sure you paste that into your account. So let's have a little look at the stats. So you can see you know, what I've earned from each computer. Nothing crazy at all, but it's definitely worth just keeping those plugs. And I'm going to rush through the last two on the list because both of these two have been untested by myself. Uh, but these are two of the exact same things, just like the previous ones as mentioned. So this one is called Income Spider. Uh, it's one of the new sites that has come out. Uh, I put up, I've connected up two computers. I uh, haven't actually sold any bandwidth to them at all at this moment in time. I am in the UK. Um, so I'm not sure if they just don't need any uh, bandwidth at the moment or um, there's just nothing you know, has been sold through to them. But you know, potentially maybe with the country that you guys are in, uh, maybe you can get back in the comments and uh, say that, you know, that you've actually you know, earned some income or you know, tell me otherwise. And moving on to SpeedShare as well. Uh, this is also the exact same concept as well and I have heard with some people with this one um, that they have said that they had to need to be on specific versions of Windows um, so you know that may be you know something you know that you may want to actually look into when you are going through with this one all right but as I say guys just make sure that you go through the description um, and if you know you're interested in installing these I would recommend to install all of these do your own individual test keep these on for as for as long as you can really because the longer they're on the more that you would earn um, if you guys have got any comments uh, please leave them in the comment box uh, I'll leave everything in the description for you and if you guys have got any similar apps like this yourself or anything that you guys do for passive income uh, please do drop those into the uh, comment box I'll be very interested to hear it and I'll see you guys in the next one hi there guys welcome to the Farrington channel and in today's video I'm going to be doing a full tutorial on how to set up your Razor Proxy on your Peer to Profit account. So once you've registered up to the Razor Proxy uh, website that I've left in the link for you in the description, what you need to do is find yourself over to uh, the Shared DC tab and it will offer you your own free 500 megabytes worth of data and all you need to do is just copy your proxy address, your port, your username and your password. And what I've done is I've put together a document uh, that kind of just walks you through kind of step by step. So when you go to import your proxy uh, into uh, your peer to profit, uh, this is the format that they're going to give you so that you need to reorganize and change it so that it's going to fit in with your details. So as a simple explanatory from mine. You can see the port that's there. That would be replaced with the port part there. On the host, you would put the uh, the proxy address that you would change that to be the host. For the password, you would use your own password. For your username, you'd also use your own username that they've uh, provided your own raised proxy. And then the protocol would be HTTP, just for this specific sake. Okay. So make sure that you change all your user details and passwords with your own that they provide for you so that this will be done successfully. So now jumping into peer to profit, let's go ahead and add this proxy. Now I've already got this proxy added. As you can see, it's online, uh, it's been online. It says 27 minutes, but I have had this up for a full day. And as you can see, it has used a little bit of the data that's been allowed on there for me. So that's still slowly updating bit by bit. So what you need to do is go and input. Remember the protocol test and username. I will leave uh, this maybe just copied into the uh, description just so you can copy and paste it maybe a little bit more easier and just change it out with your own to make things easier. But all you need to do is just pop it in as that and then all you would do is press input import and then it would go onto there and show you live. But let's just do it anyway, just for the sake of it. Okay, so this has been added. They're currently checking to make sure that these details are correct. 
but they won't be correct uh, as far as I'm aware because these are just ones that I have just added together and the original ones that I have covered up and blurred with a black box are the original uh, details that I have. If this helped you set up your proxy or your first free proxy to peer to profit then please do leave me a like and subscribe to the channel and maybe drop me a comment and let me know that what you guys like to see in the next video. Hi there guys, welcome back to the Farrington channel and in today's video I thought I'd go through and show everybody the withdrawal process of peer to profit just so that you guys can see that this is a trusted and verified site that you can actually trust. Okay, so what I'm going to do is use Litecoin as it reaches out for the minimum $2. Day two is okay, and all you need to do is just get the code from your email address. And once you have that, it should withdraw the funds. So now uh, I've completely withdrew all of the funds there and all it needs to do now is just verify and wait for that to be sent. But as you can see that's $2.13. Uh, made this within uh, about three days and 30 cents of that was from referrals. So what I will do guys is I will put my own referral link down in the uh, description below. Um, if this is something that you'd like to do uh, you know, feel free to download and install the software for yourself. Uh, as you can see, that you can actually withdraw uh, even for such a small amount. See you guys in the next video. Hi there guys, welcome back to the Farrington channel. Now, have you been looking for free proxies to add to your peer-to-peer -peer profit network? If you have, in today's video, I'm going to be talking about a new proxy service that I've found and I've had limited success with it. The service is called Razor Proxy and they're currently giving away 500 megabytes of data and I've been able to actually add this successfully. It is a data center. So the prices will be completely different. The better the price would be for residential properties than it would be for anything business or any data center type of uh, networks that would be connected up to your account. So this is the website. I've had limited success as I said so far. There is no referral link, so all you need to do is just follow the link that will be in the description and go through register yourself for your account up. Follow yourself back to your proxy account. Go on to your network, go on to proxies tab, import proxy, and once they give you your own password and username, make sure you follow the correct protocol and put in your username, past and your port, and press import, and then that should update, and it will go live and green onto there. Now it hasn't actually updated and show you on there that I've used anything because it still says the same thing, but as you can see on the Razor Proxy, it's already started to send over data. So this won't be a lot, but it's definitely something worth testing out. And they do have some good shared plans with us and unlimited on there for 10 plus IPs for that. So it could work out to be quite profitable. We do have to find out to see how much they do pay for just for the 500 megabytes. But it's, it's a step in the right direction. If you're looking for more free proxies to add to your peer-to-peer -peer profit network, this would be a good one to add. Uh, there is something else that I have been looking in, uh, but once I find out whether that's successful or not, I will do another video uh, to let you guys know in regards to how that successful that was. But thanks for watching the video, guys, and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one.